Sego, I'd like to address a topic in this capsule, uh, the ecological gift that people have heard about recently uh, in the community. Uh, first, um, the ecological gift is located in the pines, just in the back of Depain Street. It consists of 100 acres of pine forest that is uh, presently um, an interest is owned by uh, Mr. Gaulin. Uh, Mr. Gaulin offered this gift knowing after he read the history about our lands and how it was stolen from us and felt that he wanted to try to make amends for that. Now, we made it clear with Mr. Gaulin that the ecological gift is not the land itself. We've always said it's our land. But the way council sees it, Mr. Gaulin, a long time ago, purchased an interest, an artificial interest. You have to keep in mind that the interest of the Mohawks is one of historical, uh, historical right of occupation. It's our land. He simply bought an interest and put it on top of our land, which prevented us from exercising our occupation and benefit. Now, furthermore about those lands, uh, the ecological gift is situated within the common lands that we are under present uh, negotiation, under specific claims with Canada. And uh, there are certain things that we're still working on with Canada over uh, some of the details of, uh, of the claim, uh, the uh, conditions of uh, the release and so on. But the common lands have always been known by our elders. The name that was commonly used was uh, Sati, uh, Sati Umkwawa. So, or Sati Umkwawa. And it means it belongs to us all equally. That's the commons. Now, with the ecological gift, you have two processes. One, there's the ATR process that Canada tries to use on First Nations, which is added to reserve. That could take 20, 25, 30 years before any transfers or repatriation of lands are brought back to any given community. But the ecological gift itself, if I could get the assurances that Aboriginal title will not be affected or prejudiced in any way, gives us a much quicker way of repatriating 100 acres of pine forest that were at the center of the Oka crisis almost 30 years ago. So ecological gift serves the purpose and the view, I believe, of the community that the pines should be protected and free from any development threat in the future. The ecological gift does exactly that. Now, the management of that gift, if the community so chooses, the management could be under a trust on top of the ecological gift program. We could look at various um, parts of our community sitting there as trustees, managing and protecting it. Because wasn't that the goal? The goal was to get the pines back under our title and protect it. So that's the, that's the goal. At least uh, I feel strongly about uh, the benefits of the ecological gift. Because Mr. Galen is giving us his artificial title. He's given it so that we can exercise our, uh, our control of at least that part of Satyunkwala. So if ever the, uh, there's any problems with the, uh, with the governments, uh, we can negotiate this with them fairly quickly because I think the government wants to see the same thing. But we're dealing with that and uh, I'm expecting a, a meeting with the minister as soon as possible to address certain matters related to, the, to this gift about Aboriginal title and so on. So I'm hoping that uh, people will see the benefits to doing it in this way. It doesn't prejudice us in any way. And it repatriates 100 acres of prime forest that should have been protected a long time ago. Nyonko.